one of the most common and frustrating things about doing punch needle or learning punch needle is having your yarn stitches pop back out while you're doing it. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna start in here on this little cloud. And I'm just gonna start just a few punches, just like this. And if it's going well, it should look like this. But pretty often what happens is people, especially beginners, will be doing their punch needle and then as they're doing it, their yarn is popping out. See? And they cannot figure out why, when they seem to be doing everything just right, why does it keep popping out? It's very common. I get comments on my videos all the time about it. Even all the kits in my Etsy shop, I've had people message me and complain they cannot figure out why on earth their yarn keeps coming out. So there could be two reasons why this is happening. I would say the number one reason would be that there is not slack in your yarn. So if the yarn is in a big ball, so if your yarn is in a big ball and it's kind of wound tightly like this and you're going about it and it's snug while you're going, this tension is going to pull the loops out of your fabric. So that is the number one reason. So the, the, the way that you prevent that is by pulling out a good little pile of yarn and always have slack. Never allow the punch needle to be pulling it from directly from the ball of yarn. That is how it pulls out of your project. So you always want a little pile here while you're working and make sure that it's nice and loose very loose and if you do that chances are you will no longer have an issue and you'll be able to go about your punching and it won't be a problem anymore another reason this could be happening is because you haven't matched the size of your yarn and the size of your needle up with the weave in your fabric so for instance this is a larger weave fabric this is the one that i sell in my etsy shop and this type of yarn is perfect for it. It is a medium weight yarn, so it's not super thick or chunky, but it's not thin. It's just kind of an average medium weight, and it is the perfect size for using in this particular monk's cloth, like I mentioned, that I sell in my Etsy shop. Now, it also is important to keep in mind that the actual needle that you're using matters a lot too. So if I were using a smaller needle with smaller thread on this larger weave cloth, then it would make sense that that thread would pull out easily. I'm making small holes in it, and I already have holes in this fabric because it's a, a kind of larger weave. It's not, it's like a looser weave. It's not so tight. Whereas if I were taking a piece of linen and using a smaller punch needle and smaller thread, that would hold onto the thread or the small yarn much better than uh, this fabric would. So basically you need to make sure that you have the proper tools for the job that you're doing. So for this one that I was working on, it is medium yarn, a pretty large punch needle, which is my absolute favorite one to use, especially for beginners, because it's very easy to use. The larger yarn makes the project go a little bit quicker. So if you're newer to punch needle and maybe you're still trying to learn how to have the patience to work on a project like this, this larger punch needle, the larger yarn, makes it go so much faster, which is why I prefer to have these in my Etsy shop, this fabric and this punch needle, it's my favorite. But if you're looking to do a smaller, more detailed and intricate project, I would use a monk's cloth or a fabric with a tighter weave, much, much tighter, more just like a cotton fabric, something like that and then a smaller punch needle and a smaller thread or a smaller, like thinner yarn. 
So those are the two reasons why you may be encountering problems with your yarn pulling out of your punch needle project. I hope the video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below, and I'll have all my punch needle resources and such linked in the description box down below.